So here's the second project of the day and hopefully this will work. Right here beside the gear shift, you have the dipstick for the hydraulic and the transmission fluid. On these big tractors, the hydraulic and transmission fluid is the same thing. And uh, this is the dipstick right here. It's also where you refill the fluid when it's low. When I was doing the video the other day showing the service, one thing we didn't show was the change in this filter. And this is the hydraulic filter. It's about twice the size of the oil filter. And when I took that off, I probably lost about one or two quarts of hydraulic fluid because there's no shutoff really as far as uh, keeping the fluid from coming out. It kind of pours out of there when you take the filter off. So that's where I'm at right now. And here's what the issue is. I'll pull out the dipstick here in just a second and show you what I'm talking about. But the hydraulic fluid is so clear that on this dipstick, you can't read the level of it. I've tried about 20 times and you just can't see it on there. And I had a Kubota tractor, actually had two Kubota tractors in the past, and they were the same way. It's really hard on these tractors to check your hydraulic fluid. Let me pull this out and show you what I'm talking about. That's impossible. There is no way to read the oil level on there. And, uh, some guys I talked to, they actually painted this thing so they could see it better, and I don't want to do that. But I do think I found a different strategy here to make this more readable here on the stick. All right, guys, there we go. John Deere hydraulic oil dye. I did some research on the uh, Mahindra forum over on Facebook and some of the guys on there said they use this stuff every time. It dyes the hydraulic fluid. It makes it easier to see it on the gauge. And it's also good to have if you have a leak. And it uh, looks like John Deere is the only company I could find that's making this stuff. Mahindra's not making none or nothing like that. It was about $7 off eBay. And this little bottle here is enough to treat five gallons which is how much this tractor holds, five gallons of hydraulic oil. All right, let's see how this goes. I get my gloves on. Let's say this stuff, anything it touches, it turns to whatever color it is. I'm not sure what color it is, to be honest with you. It doesn't really matter to me as long as it turns this fluid some kind of color so I can see it. It's kind of got a dark reddish color to it, kind of like a violet. So, pour it in here. See how it does. There wasn't very much in there. I hope that's enough to do the five gallons like it says. It wasn't very much at all. I'll go ahead and turn the tractor back on and run the hydraulics a few times. Give that stuff a chance to mix up in there. And we'll check it again, see how we did. If you guys out there like good tools, these German channel lots here I call them channel lots. Other people call them different stuff. They're made in Germany. Nipex is the name of them. I got them in the Amazon store in the link down below. Best channel lots I've ever used. Love these things. Old uh, Chucky 2009 turned me on to these about a year ago. Good stuff right here. Good tools. Ran the hydraulics up and down on the front and the back and the grapple. And I drove the tractor back and forth a few times to get this stuff mixed up good. So hopefully we'll see some nice color on here and make it easier to read this gauge. This may be hard to see here through the camera. But uh, right here, I've got some red up into the low line right there. Anything between this line and this line is good. That's the match. This is the low. I don't know if that will come through or not, but I can see a lot of red 
right in here and some of it actually dripped down when I went to get the camera so it tells me that it's low and it's not perfect it's, you still got to kind of squinch just a little bit to see it but at least now I can read the gauge and tell when my hydraulics low I put some more fluid in here now it's a little bit more easier to see you can see right there the fluid level coming over the minimum line so that's a whole lot easier to see than it was before for seven dollars that wasn't too bad right there i'll do that all day